Lesson 1, Adventure Plans I'll reach out to a few friends and see if they're available. I'm in the mood for an adventure. That sounds exciting. It's always great to share adventures with friends. Definitely. Exploring new places and trying new activities together creates wonderful memories. Have you thought about what kind of adventure you'd like to embark on? I'm open to suggestions. Maybe a hiking trip or a weekend getaway to a nearby city? Both options sound fantastic. Hiking would allow us to connect with nature, while a city trip offers a different kind of excitement. That's true. Let's see what our friends are interested in and decide based on their preferences as well. It's always good to consider everyone's interests to ensure everyone has a great time. I'll reach out to them and gather some ideas. I'm sure we'll come up with a thrilling adventure plan. Perfect. Let's keep an open mind and be ready for new experiences and lots of fun. Absolutely. Adventure awaits, and I can't wait to embark on this journey with friends. It's going to be an unforgettable adventure. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Let's start planning and get ready for an amazing time together. Lesson 2. Occupation Sharing I work as a teacher at a local school. How about you? That's wonderful. Being a teacher must be rewarding. I work as a graphic designer. Teaching is indeed fulfilling. I enjoy helping students learn and grow. What do you enjoy about being a graphic designer? As a graphic designer, I love being able to express my creativity and bring ideas to life through visual elements. That sounds fascinating. Design plays a crucial role in so many aspects of our lives. Absolutely. It's amazing how design can impact the way people perceive and interact with things. I agree. It's great to see how our different occupations contribute to society in unique ways. Definitely. Both teaching and design have the power to inspire and make a positive difference. It's important to find fulfillment and joy in our work. How did you become interested in graphic design? I've always had a passion for art and visual communication. Pursuing graphic design allowed me to combine my interests and skills. That's fantastic. It's wonderful when we can align our passions with our careers. I feel fortunate to be able to do what I love every day. How about you? What led you to become a teacher? I've always enjoyed working with children and helping them learn. It's incredibly rewarding to witness their growth and development. That's beautiful. Teachers play a vital role in shaping future generations. Thank you. I find joy in making a positive impact on students' lives and helping them reach their full potential. It's evident that both our occupations involve making a difference and contributing to society. 
Absolutely. Our work allows us to leave a lasting impact, and that's something to be proud of. I couldn't agree more. We're fortunate to have found meaningful careers that align with our passions. Indeed, we are. It's a privilege to wake up every day and do something we genuinely enjoy. Let's continue making a positive impact through our work and inspire others along the way. Absolutely. Here's to fulfilling careers and making a difference in the lives of others. Lesson 3. Booking a room. Can I book a room for two nights? Of course, when would you like to check in? That sounds good. We can check in on Friday and check out on Sunday. All right, let me check the availability for those dates. Take your time. It would be great if we can find a room with a nice view. I'll make sure to check for rooms with a view. It adds an extra touch to the overall experience. Thank you. It's always nice to wake up to a beautiful view in the morning. Agreed. I'll also see if there are any additional amenities or special offers we can take advantage of. That would be fantastic. A few extra perks can make the stay even more enjoyable. I've found a few options. There's a room with a view available. It also includes breakfast. Perfect. That sounds like a great choice. What are the rates for those nights? The rates are reasonable. It falls within our budget for the weekend getaway. That's great to hear. Let's go ahead and book that room for two nights. All right. I'll proceed with the booking and secure the room for our desired dates. Thank you for taking care of the reservation. I appreciate your help. No problem. It's my pleasure. I'm glad I could assist with the booking. I'm looking forward to the weekend getaway. It will be a nice break from routine. It will be a refreshing escape. I'm excited to spend quality time together. Me too. It's going to be a memorable weekend. Thank you again for handling the booking. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Let's get ready for a wonderful weekend getaway. Lesson 4. Negotiating Terms We can accept that, but we would like to request more flexibility in liability caps. I understand your concern. Could you please elaborate on the specific flexibility you're looking for? Currently, the liability caps seem too restrictive. We would prefer a higher limit to accommodate unforeseen circumstances. I see your point. It's important to have some leeway in case of unexpected situations. Exactly. We want to ensure that we have sufficient protection while still being able to manage risks effectively. Let me discuss this with my team and see if we can offer a more flexible solution. That would be greatly appreciated. We value your willingness to consider our request. 
Thank you for understanding. We aim to find a mutually beneficial agreement. We believe that with a slightly higher liability cap, we can proceed confidently with the partnership. I will do my best to advocate for your request and find a solution that meets both parties' needs. We appreciate your efforts in finding common ground. It's essential for a successful collaboration. Our goal is to establish a partnership that fosters trust and ensures a smooth working relationship. Agreed. By addressing this concern, we can move forward with confidence and shared understanding. I will get back to you as soon as possible with an updated proposal that reflects the requested flexibility. Thank you for your prompt attention to this matter. We look forward to hearing from you soon. You're welcome. I appreciate your patience, and I'll make sure to provide a timely response. We value your partnership and the opportunity to work together. Let's find a solution that satisfies both parties. Absolutely. We're committed to reaching an agreement that works for everyone involved. Thank you, Anna. We trust in your ability to negotiate terms that align with our needs. Lesson 5, Weekend Getaways Always so relaxing. That sounds nice. Do you have a specific destination in mind for our weekend getaway? I was thinking of a cozy cabin in the mountains. Somewhere surrounded by nature and tranquility. That sounds perfect. Being in the mountains would be a great opportunity to disconnect and unwind. Absolutely. It's a chance to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and reconnect with nature. I couldn't agree more. The peacefulness of the mountains has a way of rejuvenating the mind and body. Plus, there are usually plenty of outdoor activities to enjoy, like hiking or exploring nearby trails. That's true. It would be wonderful to take in the scenic views while going on a hike or a leisurely walk. And if the cabin has a fireplace, we can cozy up in front of it during the evenings. That sounds delightful. It would create a warm and inviting atmosphere, perfect for relaxation. I also enjoy stargazing, and being away from the city lights would provide a great opportunity for that. Absolutely. The clear night skies in the mountains offer a spectacular view of the stars. It's a chance to appreciate the beauty of the universe and feel a sense of awe and wonder. I completely agree. Nature has a way of reminding us of the vastness and beauty of the world around us. It's important to take these breaks and prioritize self-care. Our well-being deserves attention and nurturing. You're absolutely right. Taking time to recharge and care for ourselves allows us to be our best selves. And it's even better when we can share these experiences with someone special, like you. I feel the same way. I'm grateful to have you as a companion on these adventures. Likewise, John. Let's make the most of our weekend getaways and create lasting memories together. 
I couldn't agree more, Anna. Here's to many more relaxing and rejuvenating weekend getaways in the future. Lesson 6, Setting Goals Goals. That's true. I find it motivating to work towards something specific. Have you set any goals for yourself lately? Yes, I have. I've been working on improving my fitness level. My goal is to run a half marathon next year. That's impressive. Running a half marathon requires dedication and consistent training. I admire your determination. Thank you, John. It's challenging, but I believe it's important to challenge ourselves and strive for personal growth. I couldn't agree more. Pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zones is where true growth happens. Exactly. By setting goals, we give ourselves a clear direction and something to strive for. It's also important to break down big goals into smaller, manageable steps. It makes the journey less overwhelming. I completely agree. Taking small steps and celebrating each milestone along the way keeps us motivated. That's a great mindset to have. Celebrating progress, no matter how small, keeps our spirits high. Absolutely. It's all about maintaining a positive outlook and acknowledging the effort we put into reaching our goals. And I find that sharing our goals with supportive friends or family members can provide an extra boost of encouragement. I agree. Having a support system makes the journey more enjoyable and helps us stay accountable. Speaking of goals, have you thought about any professional goals you'd like to achieve in the near future? Yes, I have. I'm aiming to enhance my leadership skills and take on a managerial role within my company. That's fantastic. Developing leadership skills will not only benefit you professionally but also open new opportunities. Thank you, John. I believe that continuous growth and learning are essential for a fulfilling career. Absolutely. The pursuit of personal and professional growth keeps us engaged and motivated in our endeavors. I couldn't agree more. Let's continue to set meaningful goals and work towards becoming the best versions of ourselves. I'm with you on that, Anna. Here's to setting and achieving our goals and embracing the journey along the way. Lesson 7, Healthy Habits Meals. That's great to hear. What kind of exercises are you incorporating into your routine to support your fitness goals? I've been doing a combination of cardio exercises like running and cycling, as well as strength training with weights. That sounds like a well-rounded approach. Cardio helps with endurance, while strength training builds lean muscle mass. Exactly. It's important to have a balanced exercise routine that targets different areas of the body. I completely agree. Variety in exercises not only keeps things interesting but also ensures overall fitness. And what about you, John? How do you stay active and maintain a healthy lifestyle? 
I enjoy going for long walks or hikes in nature. It allows me to clear my mind while getting some physical activity. That sounds wonderful. Being in nature has its own therapeutic benefits, along with the physical exercise. Absolutely. It's refreshing to disconnect from technology and immerse myself in the beauty of the outdoors. I couldn't agree more. Nature has a way of rejuvenating our spirits and providing a sense of calm. Besides exercise, nutrition plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. What's your approach to meals? I focus on incorporating whole foods into my diet, such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. That's a smart approach. Whole foods provide essential nutrients and are generally more beneficial for our bodies. I also try to avoid processed foods and sugary drinks as much as possible. It's all about making healthier choices. I agree. Minimizing processed foods and added sugars can go a long way in improving overall well-being. Absolutely. It's about nourishing our bodies with wholesome foods that support our health and energy levels. By adopting these healthy habits, we can enhance our quality of life and enjoy long-term benefits. That's true, John. A balanced approach to exercise and nutrition sets a strong foundation for a healthy lifestyle. Let's continue to prioritize our health and well-being through regular physical activity and mindful eating. Lesson 8, Shopping for Various Items Anna, I just visited this new store downtown, and they have a wide variety of products. It's impressive. Sounds good, John. Having a wide selection makes shopping more convenient. What do you need to buy? I'm looking to buy a few things, Anna. I need some groceries, a new pair of shoes, and a gift for my sister's birthday. That's quite a list, John. Let's start with groceries. What specific items are you looking to buy? I need to restock on essentials like fruits, vegetables, milk, and bread, Anna. Nothing too fancy. Those are basic items, John. It's always good to have them readily available. What about the shoes? I'm in need of a comfortable pair of running shoes, Anna. I've been meaning to start jogging regularly. That's a healthy decision, John. A good pair of running shoes will provide the necessary support and cushioning. Exactly, Anna. I want to take care of my feet while staying active. Now, let's talk about the gift for my sister. What are your sister's interests, John? Knowing her preferences can help us choose a thoughtful gift. She loves reading, Anna. I was thinking of getting her a new book or maybe a gift card to a bookstore. That sounds like a great idea, John. A book or a gift card will allow her to choose something she'll truly enjoy. I believe so too, Anna. It's essential to consider her personal taste and give her something she'll appreciate. Absolutely, John. 
Tailoring the gift to her interest shows that you've put thought into it. I agree, Anna. It's the thought that counts when it comes to gift giving. Now, let's make a shopping plan. Sure, John. We can start by prioritizing the groceries since they are essential. Then we can move on to the shoes and the gift. That sounds like a logical order, Anna. Let's make a shopping list to ensure we don't forget anything. Good idea, John. A shopping list will help us stay organized and make the most of our shopping trip. I'll write down the items we need for groceries, shoes, and the gift, Anna. It will serve as our guide. Perfect, John. Having a clear list will streamline our shopping experience and prevent any unnecessary purchases. Agreed, Anna. Let's get everything we need while being mindful of our budget and making wise choices. Absolutely, John. With proper planning and a focused approach, we can accomplish our shopping goals efficiently. Thank you for your help, Anna. Shopping can be overwhelming at times, but having a plan makes it easier. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could assist you. Let's make our shopping trip a successful one. Indeed, Anna. Here's to finding all the items we need and enjoying the process along the way. Lesson 9, Welcoming a Visitor We're excited to have you here. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, John. I appreciate the warm welcome. I do have a few questions about the local area. Of course, I'm here to help. What would you like to know? Are there any recommended restaurants nearby? I'd love to try some local cuisine. Absolutely. There's a charming bistro just a few blocks away that serves delicious regional dishes. That sounds perfect. I enjoy trying new flavors and experiencing the local food culture. I think you'll really enjoy it. The bistro has a cozy atmosphere and a menu that caters to various tastes. That's great to hear. I'm looking forward to indulging in some culinary delights during my stay. I'm sure you'll have a fantastic dining experience there. If you need any other suggestions, just let me know. Actually, I was wondering if there are any interesting landmarks or attractions nearby. Absolutely. There's a historical museum just a short walk from here that showcases the rich heritage of this area. That sounds fascinating. I love learning about the history and culture of the places I visit. You'll definitely enjoy the museum then. It's filled with captivating exhibits and interactive displays. I can't wait to explore it. Thank you for pointing me in the right direction. It's my pleasure, Anna. I'm always here to provide recommendations and make your stay memorable. I truly appreciate your hospitality, John. It's comforting to know that I have someone to rely on. You're very welcome.
We want your visit to be enjoyable and stress-free. Just ask if you need anything else. Thank you once again, John. Your kindness and assistance mean a lot to me. It's all part of making you feel welcome and ensuring you have a wonderful experience here. I feel fortunate to have such a welcoming host. I'm grateful for your help. It's my pleasure, Anna. We're excited to have you here and want you to feel at home. I already feel that way, thanks to you. Here's to a memorable and enjoyable time together. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's make the most of your visit and create lasting memories. Lesson 10, Starting a Project That sounds great. How can I get started on that project? First, let's define the project goals and objectives. What do you hope to achieve? I want to increase customer engagement and improve our online presence. Excellent. Next, we should outline a timeline with specific milestones and deadlines. That makes sense. Having a clear timeline will help us stay on track and measure progress. Now, let's identify the resources and team members needed for the project. Good point. We'll need to assemble a capable team and gather the necessary tools and materials. Once we have the team in place, we can assign roles and responsibilities to ensure smooth collaboration. Absolutely. Each team member should have a clear understanding of their tasks and deadlines. Communication will be key throughout the project. We should establish regular update meetings. I agree. Regular meetings will allow us to address any issues and keep everyone informed. Additionally, we should create a project management system to track tasks and monitor progress. That's a smart idea. A project management system will help us stay organized and accountable. As we move forward, it's important to continuously monitor and evaluate our progress. Agreed. Regular evaluation will allow us to make adjustments and ensure we're on the right track. And don't forget to celebrate milestones and achievements along the way. It boosts morale. You're right. Recognizing and appreciating our accomplishments will motivate the team. Lastly, once the project is complete, we should conduct a thorough review and document lessons learned. That's a valuable step. Learning from our experiences will help us improve future projects. Absolutely. By following these steps, we can set ourselves up for a successful project. Thank you for guiding me through the process, Anna. I feel more confident now. You're welcome, John. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Let's make this project a success. I appreciate your support, Anna. Together, we'll achieve our goals and deliver outstanding results. Lesson 11, Yoga at Home I'm happy to help. 
Yoga at home is a truly blissful experience. That's wonderful to hear. I've been wanting to start a home yoga practice. Where should I begin? First, find a quiet and comfortable space in your home where you can practice undisturbed. Good idea. I'll create a peaceful corner where I can relax and focus on my practice. Next, gather some essential yoga props like a mat, blocks, and a strap for support and alignment. I'll make sure to get those. Having the right props will enhance my practice. Now, let's explore some beginner-friendly yoga poses that you can start with. That would be helpful. What are some simple poses I can try as a beginner? You can begin with foundational poses like mountain pose, downward facing dog, and child's pose. I'll remember those. Starting with fundamental poses will help me build a strong foundation. Absolutely. It's important to focus on proper alignment and mindful breathing as you move through the poses. I'll keep that in mind. Breath awareness is an integral part of the yoga practice. As you progress, you can gradually incorporate more challenging poses and sequences. That sounds exciting. I look forward to advancing in my practice over time. Additionally, you can explore online yoga classes or tutorials to guide you through your home practice. That's a great suggestion. Having a virtual instructor will provide guidance and inspiration. Remember to listen to your body and honor its limits. Yoga is about finding balance and self-care. I'll be mindful of that. I want my yoga practice to be safe and beneficial for my well-being. Lastly, don't forget to make your practice enjoyable and a time for self-reflection and relaxation. I'll be sure to infuse my practice with joy and self-care. Thank you for all the guidance, John. You're welcome, Anna. I'm glad I could assist you in starting your home yoga journey. I appreciate your support. Here's to finding peace and bliss through yoga at home. Cheers to that, Anna. May your home practice bring you tranquility and inner strength. Lesson 12, Finding a Software Development Company We need a company with expertise in software development. Any ideas on where to start? Researching reputable companies would be a good first step. We want to find a reliable partner. Agreed. Let's look for companies with a proven track record and positive client reviews. It's also important to consider their areas of expertise. We need a company that aligns with our project requirements. Definitely. We should focus on companies that specialize in the specific software solutions we need. Once we have a list of potential companies, we can reach out to them for more information. Right. We can inquire about their experience, past projects, and the technologies they work with. It would be beneficial to schedule meetings or consultations with the shortlisted companies. 
That way, we can discuss our project in detail and assess their capabilities and approach. During the meetings, we should ask about their development process and project management strategies. Good point. Their approach to project management will impact the success and efficiency of our collaboration. Additionally, we should inquire about their team's expertise and the resources they have available. Having a skilled and experienced team is crucial for delivering a high-quality software solution. We should also discuss timelines, milestones, and the estimated budget for the project. Absolutely. It's important to align expectations and ensure that the company can meet our project requirements. Lastly, we should request references from their previous clients to get a better understanding of their performance. That's a smart move. Hearing from their previous clients will provide valuable insights. By following these steps, we can find a software development company that suits our needs. I appreciate your input, Anna. Let's start our research and find the perfect partner. I'm excited to begin. Together, we'll find a company that will help us achieve our software development goals. I'm confident that we'll find the right match. Let's get started and make this project a success. Lesson 13, planning a trip. Well, I'm planning a trip and I'm not sure how to go about it. Any advice, Anna? Of course. First, decide on your destination and the duration of your trip. I'm thinking of going to Europe for two weeks. It's been on my bucket list for a while. That sounds exciting. Once you have your destination, check the visa requirements and make sure your passport is valid. Good point. I'll make sure to check the visa regulations and renew my passport if needed. Next, research the best time to visit your chosen destination and consider the weather and local events. That's a great tip. I want to make sure I visit when the weather is pleasant and there are interesting events happening. Look for affordable flights and compare prices from different airlines or travel websites. I'll keep an eye out for flight deals and compare prices to find the best option for my budget. Don't forget to book your accommodations in advance. Look for hotels or consider alternative options like vacation rentals or hostels. Absolutely. I'll start looking for accommodations early to secure the best deals and availability. Make a list of must-visit attractions and create a rough itinerary to help you plan your days. That's a great idea. Having an itinerary will ensure that I make the most of my time and don't miss any important sites. Research local customs and traditions, as well as any cultural etiquette you should be aware of. I'll make sure to familiarize myself with the local customs to show respect and avoid any cultural misunderstandings. Consider purchasing travel insurance to protect yourself in case of any unforeseen circumstances. That's a wise suggestion. I'll look into getting travel insurance for peace of mind. 
Lastly, pack your belongings wisely, considering the weather, activities, and any specific requirements of your destination. I'll make a checklist and pack accordingly to ensure I have everything I need for a comfortable trip. Remember to have all your travel documents and important information organized and easily accessible. Thanks for the reminder. I'll gather all my documents and keep them in a safe and accessible place. With careful planning and preparation, your trip is sure to be a memorable adventure, John. I appreciate your guidance, Anna. I'm feeling more confident about planning my trip now. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could help. Have an amazing time exploring Europe. Thank you, Anna. I'll make sure to share my travel experiences with you when I return. Lesson 14, Advanced Gadgets Wow, look at all these gadgets. They're so advanced. Have you seen the latest tech, Anna? Yes, John. Technology is advancing at an incredible pace. What caught your eye? I'm amazed by the new smartphones with powerful processors and stunning displays. They're truly impressive. And have you seen the smartwatches with fitness tracking and health monitoring features? Absolutely. It's incredible how these watches can keep track of our health and fitness goals. And what about the advancements in virtual reality and augmented reality devices? They're mind-blowing. I can't wait to experience virtual worlds and augmented reality applications. The Internet of Things is also revolutionizing our homes with smart devices like voice-controlled assistants and automated appliances. It's like living in the future. Controlling our homes with voice commands feels so convenient. And don't forget about the advancements in drones, robotics, and autonomous vehicles. You're right. Drones are becoming more versatile, and robotics is making significant strides in various industries. The possibilities seem endless. Technology is shaping our lives in ways we couldn't have imagined before. It's both exciting and sometimes overwhelming to keep up with all these innovative gadgets. That's true. It's important to embrace technology while also being mindful of its impact on our lives. Absolutely. We should use these advanced gadgets to enhance our productivity, creativity, and overall well-being. And let's not forget the importance of digital security and privacy as we integrate more technology into our lives. Wise words, Anna. We need to stay informed and take measures to protect our privacy and data. Indeed. Technology is a powerful tool, and it's up to us to use it responsibly. I'm grateful to be living in this era of technological advancements. It's an exciting time. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's embrace the future and make the most of these advanced gadgets. Here's to the incredible world of technology and all the possibilities it holds for us. 
Cheers to that, John. May we continue to witness and benefit from the wonders of advanced gadgets. Absolutely, Anna. Let's stay curious and keep exploring the ever-evolving world of technology. Lesson 15, Dairy Accommodations. I've been thinking about incorporating dairy into my meals, but I have some dietary restrictions. Anna, do you think we can accommodate that? Of course, John. We can definitely find ways to accommodate your dietary needs. What specifically are your restrictions? I have lactose intolerance, so I need to avoid products that contain lactose. Not a problem, John. There are many lactose-free alternatives available for you to enjoy. That's a relief. Are there any specific dairy substitutes you would recommend? Almond milk and coconut milk are popular lactose-free options for beverages and cooking. I've tried almond milk before, and it tastes great. I'll give coconut milk a try as well. You might also consider using lactose-free yogurt or dairy-free cheese alternatives. That sounds interesting. I'll look for those options in the grocery store. Additionally, there are dairy-free spreads and margarines made from plant-based oils that you can use. That's good to know. I can still enjoy some of my favorite spreads without worrying about lactose. Absolutely. You can also explore recipes that use non-dairy ingredients as substitutions. That's a great idea. I'll start looking for dairy-free recipes to try out in my meals. It's important to read food labels carefully to ensure there are no hidden sources of lactose in packaged products. I'll be vigilant and check the labels to avoid any accidental consumption of lactose. If you have any doubts or questions, it's always a good idea to consult a nutritionist or healthcare professional. That's wise advice. I'll seek guidance to ensure I'm making the right choices for my dietary needs. Remember, there are plenty of delicious and nutritious options available to accommodate your dairy restrictions. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your support and suggestions. It's reassuring to know that I can still enjoy dairy in a way that suits my needs. You're welcome, John. It's all about finding alternatives that work for you. Enjoy your dairy-inclusive meals. I will, Anna. Thanks again for your help. I'm excited to explore these dairy-free options. Lesson 16, Budgeting Finances Hey, how have you been managing your finances lately? I've actually started budgeting, and it's been quite helpful. That's great to hear, John. Budgeting is an effective way to stay on top of your finances. What strategies have you been using? I've been tracking my expenses and categorizing them to see where my money is going each month. That's a smart approach. It helps you identify areas where you can potentially cut back and save. Absolutely. 
I've also set specific financial goals, like saving for a vacation or building an emergency fund. Having clear goals gives you something to work towards and helps you prioritize your spending. Exactly. I've started allocating a portion of my income towards savings right from the beginning of the month. That's a good habit to develop. Paying yourself first ensures that you're setting aside money for your future. I've also been mindful of my discretionary spending in trying to differentiate between wants and needs. That's an essential distinction to make. It helps you make more conscious decisions about your spending. I've even started meal planning and cooking at home more often to save money on dining out. Meal planning is a fantastic way to save. It allows you to plan your meals, make a shopping list, and avoid unnecessary purchases. It's been a game changer for me. Not only am I saving money, but I'm also eating healthier. That's a double win. Budgeting can have positive impacts on various aspects of your life. I found that tracking my expenses and sticking to a budget has brought more financial peace of mind. It's true. Having a clear picture of your finances allows you to make informed decisions and reduces stress. I'm glad I started budgeting. It's empowering to have control over my money and work towards my financial goals. I'm happy for you, John. Keep up the good work, and remember that financial habits take time to develop. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your encouragement. I'm committed to staying on track with my budgeting journey. I have no doubt that you'll continue to make progress. Keep learning and adapting as you go along. Will do, Anna. Here's to better financial management and a brighter financial future. Lesson 17, Steps to Achieve Great Results. I'm feeling motivated to achieve great results in my goals. Anna, what steps do you think we should take? That's a fantastic mindset, John. To achieve great results, we should start by setting specific and realistic goals. Absolutely. Having clear goals gives us direction and something to strive for. Once we have our goals in place, we can break them down into smaller, manageable steps. Breaking them down will make the process less overwhelming and more achievable. We should also create a timeline or schedule to keep ourselves accountable and track our progress. That's a great idea. Regularly reviewing our progress will help us stay on track and make any necessary adjustments. It's important to stay focused and maintain a positive mindset throughout the journey. A positive mindset can help us overcome obstacles and stay motivated even when faced with challenges. We should also surround ourselves with supportive and like-minded individuals who can inspire and encourage us. Having a support system can make a significant difference in our journey towards achieving great results. It's crucial to prioritize self-care and maintain a healthy work-life balance along the way.
Taking care of ourselves physically and mentally will ensure we have the energy and motivation to keep pushing forward. We should also be open to learning and continuously seek new knowledge and skills related to our goals. Lifelong learning will help us adapt, grow, and improve as we work towards achieving great results. Along the way, it's essential to celebrate small victories and acknowledge our progress. Celebrating milestones will keep us motivated and remind us of how far we've come. Lastly, we should embrace the process and enjoy the journey rather than solely focusing on the end result. That's a valuable reminder, Anna. The journey itself is where we learn, grow, and create lasting memories. Absolutely, John. By following these steps and staying dedicated, we can achieve great results in our goals. I believe that too, Anna. Let's take these steps and work towards achieving the results we desire. I'm excited to see what we can accomplish, John. Here's to taking the necessary steps and achieving great things. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's embark on this journey together and make it a remarkable one. Lesson 18, Choosing a Hotel with Amenities That sounds good. I prefer a hotel with a gym and free breakfast. Any suggestions? Sure, John. I can recommend a few hotels that meet your preferences. Have you considered staying in a specific area? I'll be visiting New York City. Ideally, I'd like a hotel located near the city center. In that case, the Grand Plaza Hotel is a great option. It's centrally located and offers a complimentary breakfast buffet. That's perfect. I enjoy starting my day with a good breakfast. Does the hotel have a gym as well? Yes, the Grand Plaza Hotel has a well-equipped fitness center that guests can use. Excellent. I like to maintain my workout routine even when traveling. Another option is the Parkside Inn. It's located near a park, making it convenient for outdoor activities, and they also provide a complimentary breakfast. That sounds appealing. I could go for a morning jog in the park before breakfast. Absolutely. The Parkside Inn offers a serene environment for both exercise and relaxation. Do you have any other recommendations? I want to explore all my options. Certainly. The City View Hotel is another great choice. It's known for its panoramic city views, and they offer a complimentary continental breakfast. Wow, the city views sound amazing. And having breakfast included is definitely a plus. Lastly, the Riverside Resort is a popular option. It's located by the river providing a tranquil setting, and they have a fitness center and complimentary breakfast. Being close to nature by the river sounds lovely. It's great that they have fitness facilities too. Those are some top suggestions, John. You can explore their websites for more information and compare prices. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your recommendations. 
I'll check out their websites and make a decision based on my preferences. You're welcome, John. Take your time and choose the hotel that best suits your needs. Enjoy your stay in New York City. I will, Anna. Thanks again for your help. I'm excited to find the perfect hotel for my trip. I'm glad I could assist you, John. Have a fantastic time in New York City and make the most of your hotel amenities. I'll make sure to do that, Anna. Thanks once again. Lesson 19, Comfortable Shoes and Reasonable Price These shoes are comfortable. I'll buy them. I agree the price is reasonable too. That's great, John. It's important to find shoes that provide comfort and support. Where did you find them? I found them at a local shoe store in the mall. They have a wide selection of footwear. That's convenient. Did you try them on to make sure they fit well? Yes, I tried them on, and they felt incredibly comfortable right away. The fit is perfect. It's always a good idea to try shoes before buying them to ensure the right fit and comfort. Absolutely, Anna. Comfort is a top priority for me, especially since I'll be wearing them for long periods. I completely understand. Comfortable shoes can make a significant difference in your overall well-being. I agree. It's worth investing in good quality shoes that provide comfort and support. Speaking of investment, you mentioned that the price is reasonable. Did you find them on sale? Yes, they were on sale, which made them even more appealing. I got a great deal. That's fantastic. Finding a comfortable pair of shoes at a reasonable price is a win-win situation. Definitely. I'm glad I came across this opportunity. It's a good value for the quality I'm getting. When it comes to shoes, it's important to strike a balance between comfort, quality, and price. I couldn't agree more, Anna. It's about finding that sweet spot where all factors align. It sounds like you found the perfect pair of shoes that meet all your requirements. Indeed, Anna. I'm confident that these shoes will serve me well and provide the comfort I need. That's wonderful, John. Comfortable shoes can make a positive impact on your daily activities. Absolutely. Now I'm looking forward to wearing them and enjoying the comfort they provide. I'm happy for you, John. It's satisfying to find a great product that meets your needs and expectations. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your support. Here's to comfortable shoes at a reasonable price. Cheers to that, John. May your new shoes bring you comfort and satisfaction. Happy walking. Thank you, Anna. I'll make the most of it. Happy walking indeed. Lesson 20, Bus Stop Location and Traffic 
Depending on traffic, is the bus stop in front of the mall a good option? It can be a convenient choice if the traffic conditions are favorable. Have you considered other bus stops nearby? I haven't explored other options yet. Are there any other bus stops in the vicinity? Yes, there's another bus stop a few blocks away from the mall. It might be worth considering as well. That's good to know. Is the alternative bus stop in a less congested area? It's located on a quieter street, so there's usually less traffic compared to the one in front of the mall. Avoiding heavy traffic would save me time and make my commute smoother. Definitely. Less congestion can lead to more efficient bus service and a more pleasant travel experience. I agree. I'll take that into consideration when deciding which bus stop to use. Keep in mind that the bus schedule may vary depending on the stop, so it's essential to check the timetables. That's a good point. I'll make sure to look up the bus schedules for both stops. Additionally, consider the proximity of the bus stop to your destination. Is one location more convenient for you? I'll have to check the map to see which bus stop aligns better with my destination. Take your time to compare the options and choose the bus stop that best suits your needs. I will, Anna. Thank you for providing me with these insights. It's helpful in making an informed decision. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could assist you. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your willingness to help, Anna. I'll let you know if I need further clarification. Sounds good, John. I'm here to help. Good luck with your decision and have a pleasant journey. Thank you once again, Anna. I'll consider all the factors and make the best choice. Have a great day. Lesson 21, Market Research and Getting Started We can start with market research. That's a solid plan. Let's begin. Absolutely, John. Market research is crucial for understanding our target audience and competition. Where should we start? Let's begin by identifying our target market. Who are the potential customers for our product or service? That's a good point, John. We need to define our target audience based on demographics, interests, and needs. Once we have that information, we can conduct surveys or interviews to gather insights directly from our potential customers. That's a great idea. Surveys and interviews can provide valuable feedback and help us refine our offerings. We should also analyze our competitors. What products or services are they offering, and how do we differentiate ourselves? You're right, John. Understanding our competitors' strengths and weaknesses will help us position ourselves effectively. We can conduct competitive analysis by studying their marketing strategies, pricing, and customer reviews. 
Additionally, we should keep an eye on industry trends and consumer behavior to stay ahead of the curve. Monitoring trends will allow us to adapt our offerings and marketing efforts to meet changing customer demands. Agreed. It's essential to stay proactive and responsive to the evolving market landscape. Once we gather all the necessary data, we can analyze it to identify opportunities and make informed decisions. Data analysis will provide us with actionable insights and guide our strategies moving forward. We should also consider the feasibility of our ideas and conduct a cost analysis to ensure profitability. Absolutely. It's crucial to have a clear understanding of the costs involved and potential revenue streams. With thorough market research and analysis, we can develop a strong foundation for our business. That's right, John. It sets us up for success and minimizes risks as we move forward. I'm glad we're on the same page, Anna. Let's dive into market research and gather the information we need. I'm excited to get started, John. Let's put our plan into action and build a solid foundation for our business. Indeed, Anna. With our combined efforts, I believe we can make informed decisions and achieve success. Absolutely, John. Let's work together and make our business venture thrive. Here's to a fruitful journey. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's embark on this exciting journey and create something remarkable. Lesson 22, Restaurant Reservation and Special Request. Can I request a specific table? Certainly, John. We'll do our best to accommodate your table preference. May I know which table you have in mind? I would like a table near the window if possible. I enjoy the natural light and the view. Noted, John. We'll make a note of your preference and prioritize seating you near the window. That's great, Anna. Thank you for considering my request. I appreciate your attention to detail. You're welcome, John. We want to ensure you have a pleasant dining experience at our restaurant. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard wonderful things about the ambience and the food. We strive to provide top-notch service and delicious cuisine. I'm confident you'll enjoy your visit. That's reassuring to hear. Is there anything else I need to know or do for the reservation? Just one more thing, John. Could you please provide us with the number of guests joining you? It will be a party of four, including myself. We're excited to dine at your restaurant. Perfect. We'll make a reservation for four at 10 a.m. near the window as requested. That's fantastic, Anna. Thank you for your assistance. I appreciate your help in making this reservation. It's my pleasure, John. We value your patronage, and we'll make sure your visit is memorable. I'm confident it will be. I can't wait to enjoy a delightful meal in a lovely setting. 
we'll be ready to welcome you and your guests at 10 a.m. We look forward to serving you. Thank you once again, Anna. See you soon at the restaurant. Have a great day. Lesson 23, Tips for Engaging Interactions Any tips for engagement? Interaction is crucial. I try to reply to comments and messages promptly. That's a great approach, John. Prompt responses show that you value your audience. Another tip is to ask open-ended questions to encourage conversation. Asking questions is a good idea. It gives people an opportunity to share their thoughts and experiences. Absolutely. It helps create a dialogue and makes the interaction more meaningful. Another tip is to be authentic and genuine in your responses. Being authentic is important. People appreciate sincerity and can sense when someone is being genuine. Exactly. Show empathy and understanding in your replies. It helps in building a connection with your audience. I agree. Empathy goes a long way in establishing trust and fostering a positive relationship with your followers. Additionally, try to personalize your responses whenever possible. Address people by their names and acknowledge their specific comments. Personalization adds a personal touch and makes people feel seen and heard. It's a great way to make interactions more meaningful. Responding with gratitude is also crucial. Take the time to express appreciation for the support and feedback you receive. Gratitude is essential. It shows that you value your audience's engagement and encourages them to continue interacting. Another tip is to encourage user-generated content. It can be in the form of contests, challenges, or simply asking for their input. User-generated content is a fantastic way to involve your audience and make them feel like active participants in your community. Lastly, try to be consistent in your engagement efforts. Regularly respond to comments, messages, and participate in discussions. Consistency builds trust and shows your commitment to fostering a vibrant and engaged community. Absolutely. By following these tips, you'll create a positive and interactive environment that keeps your audience engaged. Thank you for sharing these valuable tips, Anna. I'll make sure to implement them in my interactions. It was a fruitful discussion. You're welcome, John. I'm glad you found these tips helpful. I'm confident they'll enhance your engagement efforts. Best of luck. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your support. Here's to more engaging interactions and building a strong community.